my name is Buti Palano Atamese. I come from Botswana, uh, Central District uh, Kalamare. Uh, the main problem that uh, I was facing was ill health. That was the main problem because I was uh, at times was spitting blood. Yes, and uh, before that I was diagnosed of uh, gastritis. They were seen that uh, at the hospital. They were seen that uh, I have I produce too much acid. And this acid is the one that is uh, causing uh, uh, bleeding inside the stomach. Yes. Uh, and the second thing that brought uh, me here is uh, I had uh, heart palpitations. Yes. Uh, time and again, I will uh, experience uh, palpitations and my heart will beat uh, very, very fast. Yes. Uh, high pulse rate. And when... Uh, this hyper rate comes, I will gasp for breath. Yes, a uh, difficult in breathing. Yes, then I will uh, feel uh, uh, dizzy and losing balance because of these palpitations and high pulse rate. Yeah, uh, the man of God said that everything will be fine. Uh, he said the main uh, thing that I uh, that I need is deliverance, and he said uh, because of those things uh, they have affected my family. Yeah, especially my marriage, and I said that uh, due to this, I'm no longer uh, uh, the real husband to my wife. Yes, and I said that uh, I need deliverance and everything will be fine. Hallelujah. Out! Demon! You demon! You demon! You demon, come on, out, leave the stomach. Amen. You demon, out, out, you demon. I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you, leave him. Uh, I felt the power, power, uh, a supernatural power over me. Yes, that power, and uh, it was uh, too much, and it was overwhelming. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I'm, I'm now. I'm very, I'm very much light. Yes, I'm very much light. Yes. Uh, what I can say to to, to 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 people out there who are facing the same challenge, I say that uh, I will say to them that uh, Jesus is the way that and there is nothing that is uh, impossible with God. Everything is possible. Uh, you need to keep on trusting Jesus. And when you trust him, uh, one day your problem will be solved. Uh, that's what I can tell to, to the people out there. I'm Kibidua Kidwo Nibasele from Mau Botswana. Roki Baipilelene is my fiance. Totani Renaro Lezeruri. Kuro Kusena Kusena Trust the more relationship you have with your children. You are not to fast. You to be But you have to have a solution because you have for about five years now. But you have to be able to do it. It 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 affected me and her in so many ways because you know we we are hoping for success in life, but it. When you have strife in between the two of you, nothing ever goes well, you know. So no matter how much we try to pray, things were not going well. Yes, but we thank God we found solution. Oh, <laughs> no, the men of God said, uh, actually, we have our own different issues, like uh, attacks from my background and attacks from her background. So this attacks was double trouble, made us fight all the time. And uh, it uh, denied us chance to grow in the relationship up to maybe marriage, you see. So, but today I thank God for the grace upon the man of God. Yes, she went deeper to, to explain everything. Now we are, we are delivered, yes. Then please explain it to us, okay? Kilebo <laughs> Jame. Ka gore totahela se le gore ke ne ke se feisitse ne le gore bo rena bana ba ta go gonna ba ba ta go ntirisa har dumana me 
so go le bogolo le ke sa khone gore bana le bone ka moga wa modimo ba dikselo gore monna modimo ile a so thalosa gore ke dikologile ke borre me ga ba ro ba le le nna bone ba ntukologile cause e tare ga re a tswa tsa ma ya kwa le na be ke ya kwa gore re be ka go hella ke amen Amen. Tota ile monna modimo a rapelena. Go ile ga nna le le sengwe mo go nna e be se on my right hand. Go e be se se tswa ga se tswa ba de be ke utwa le ntswe le re. You are lucky. Amen. The message was powerful as phenomenal, you know. <laughs> the next day which is today, I believe we have approved everything, everything that uh, disturbed our lives from you know moving forward so we are free now mm. yes indeed no i'm feeling good feeling so hopeful in life yes beautiful i i see a bright future thank you very much yeah. uh i've realized that marriage is one of the things that are uh, attacked the most you know the enemy doesn't like marriage at all at all at all and uh, like uh, the men of god said we were operating under a curse and sometimes you you would be moving or living under a curse and you wouldn't be knowing it so like you were saying we shouldn't uh, uh, you mentioned something like uh, not depending our upon our own understanding you see so i would encourage other men and women you know who are in a relationship and they have issues they have problems not to depend upon their own understanding but depend upon god because some things are just too deep for for their own understanding Eh yes. ka bomme tota a ri tshokele borre ba rona ga o itse gore a ke nne rre yo modimo a go a mo go neetseng kana tsa tota ga re o re o le mme o ba mele o ba mele monna wa hago e he na tota go tswela nnete ma ba ne monna modimo ga isang ka me but i have ke na le khedi ke satse le mophiro di since um no ma le tsana ka bo 20 but even January, I get to go until my bani after service. I get to go I saw my period. So I thank God. Amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Gillian Popo, and sitting next to me here is my better half, my one and only husband. Amen. Amen. Um. First of all. I would like to start by saying um, I'm someone who used to watch Charis TV many times, many times. So by watching that channel, I got so much blessed. And I just told myself that maybe if I can go there, I'll also, I'll also come with my own testimony. Um, I came here with a, a bag full of problems. My, my body was attacked with sickness, sicknesses, diseases. So I was, I was running to and fro from hospital to hospital, checkups and doing everything. But uh, what made me very happy is that um, immediately when I saw the man of God, he just opened up. He told me everything, everything that even that something that I never expected him to say but he just told me everything so everything that he has said it was indeed 110 percent true so i just felt so blessed and it was like 
I was just seeing my healing flowing even when he was still talking to me. And my body became so light. I felt that peace of God inside of me. I felt that touch of God, that anointing of God. So, and I just believe that as I step out from this place, everything is going to remain here. I'm going to cross to Botswana being a new person, healed, free, fresh and fit. So I just want to thank God for that. Yeah, um, my husband was so much worried. Even the man of God just saw that in him. So since he has a calling, the man of God told us that it's going to disturb his prayers because you are so much worried about me. We're having a challenge, not even having a child. But I believe that from me, obviously, <laughs> there's going to be a child. Our marriage is going to be strong. His ministry, the calling of God upon his life will be fulfilled because now I'll be happy. He will be happy and uh, um, we will be free, free, free at last, free at last. Amen. Yes. My challenge was, uh, I was, it's like the man of God says you are confused. You don't know the direction to take. But we came here, we, we were it's like our, the man of God was inside of our hearts. He was, it's like he's an angel to us. So he told us everything. So, and uh, he told us about our ministry, which is, he said, uh, you are a prophet of God. So it was amazing. I didn't, I didn't know anything about that. So... So in life, we are, we are not from, you are not in the same level. So there is someone who is greater than somebody else. So that's why the Bible says the, letter is the lesser is blessed by the greater. Yeah, so we came and believed God that the apostle of God will help her. Yes, it's affecting me because, uh, you know, in life, it, you know, you know a child is a blessing from God. So we must celebrate to have a child. Yes. Yeah. Ah, it was so awesome. When I, when it was I so saw, awesome. Saw him coming, park this car there. Just, just by turning and looking at him, you know, I felt bloated. Um, I wanted to vomit. I ran to the toilet, <laughs> so you know, it was just like, I don't know what is going on, you know, my whole body was hot, you know, <laughs> so I just knew inside that something is cooking, the pot is about to boil, so indeed it has boiled, so I thank God Almighty, it's by His grace that we are here, and He brought us here for, for a purpose. Because sometimes when you don't know where to go, God will always direct you to the right, to the right person. So I thank God for, for, for the man of God. And I believe that when I come here, I'll be coming with a big testimony, a bigger one. To add on my wife, he said, you come in to testify. To me, it's more than that. Amen. Because we, we came here worried. But uh, the man of God, uh, you know, he, I don't know what to say. He revealed the, the, revel the revelation about our lives. He revealed everything. So we are happy about that. It was, it was, it was a scanner. It was, it was scanning. So scanning everything inside. Scanning. We so, so we are so excited. We, we so don't excited. know what to say. No. But the glory goes to, to Jehovah to alone. Jehovah. Ah. Amen. Oh, that lesson is very good. So, what was holding us? It was destroyed the very minute. So, we thank God for that. So Amen. We are just wondering where that, 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 that devil is hiding now because we have put shame before him. Uh, 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 all, wherever he is right now, he's ashamed, he's regretting. So I'm sure he's regretting why he did that. The devil is a liar. Yeah, so Even the devil... Uh, 
can express that. Mm. The devil is a liar. He's so a liar. he's a liar. He's a deceiver. So we have conquered at last. Jesus' name. Amen. Receive the name of Jesus Christ. Take it. Amen. Take it. Ah, uh, it was it, it was too much. The anointing was too much on us, so we didn't control. We, we we didn't we couldn't manage to control ourselves. So it was awesome. Amen. Uh, myself, <laughs> I was shivering. You know, <laughs> just the moment when he said stand there, I was already overpowered. I just felt like just crawling down. You know, just to crawl down. I couldn't hold myself. My body was just shivering inside. I was just shivering and feeling hot at the same time. But I knew that this is the anointing of God. And it, indeed it was the anointing of God. We thank God for that. We bless God. All I can say to the women outside who are having that same challenge, um, I'm t I just want to s say to them, Look unto Jesus. Just like Hannah, Hannah, she prayed. She prayed, she denied herself of food. She believed God, but at the end, God answered her prayers. She ended up conceiving a baby. So the same applies to you women out there. Hold on to God. Don't focus on the situation that is at present. Focus on God because God is the only source and never give up in life. Know that there is a God in heaven who answers prayers. He is a God who will never deny you. He is a God who will never let you down. He is a God of promises. He said he watches over the words of his servants to perform them. So believe in the prophet that God has sent you. To you and you all your ways will prosper and the prophecy shall come into fulfillment and have faith believe God have faith in God and believe his weight that's all I can say thank you Amen. yes mm, I want to tell all men so if your wife is sick don't dump her just hold on trust God he is the healer. Amen. He knows why he is connected to you, Amen. to that woman. Amen. So he is the healer. He can't leave you on that same situation. Amen. Amen. Mm, my name is Ukwe uh, Mkandla. I'm from Botswana, Francistown. My life was mixed up. I was in a relationship relationship, but it's a last. I was in a faithful relationship. I was in a relationship, but everything just goes in vain. I've been tormented with a pain since 2006. I was in a pain. So pain in ain't seen twenty and a corner wagon like in the carapella, gets a medic carapella, ah, me on so sad rahali sip until I decided to come to Charis. Daughter, it was not easy for me to come here because since 2014, when when I started watching Ch Charis TV, can again nalike let's worry, and guy ponagile more Charis because something was telling me that your deliverance is in, is in Charis. So Becky decided, well, ah, for now, I will clear my account. I will go to Charis for my deliverance. You know, I'm happy. Whatever that 
brought me here to Charis. Man of God told me everything. I didn't tell him anything. He told me everything. He told me the situation that I'm facing. And what, what the man of God told me is exactly tr true, 100% true. your job. Whoa. Yeah? Hey, your job is to what? To destroy her life. Why did he come here? What is that in the stomach? Why did, did he food? come here? What is that day? Uh, huh? Remove everything. Remove. Uh, Remove. Whoa. Remove. Uh, the name of Jesus. Uh, Take your things out. Take your things out. Take your things out. Checking what's this? What's this? You don't know what it is? No. God bless you, sister. You are free. Amen. Oh my God. Ceci? How do you feel? We we'll put your hands. Say, say, wait. Can you talk? How did I come here? Where? To Charis? You don't know how you came here? Ah. When did you come here? You don't know how you came? Who brought you here? Where do you come from? Hmm? What is your name? Don't cry. Talk. Talk, sister. How did you come here? You don't know. She says. She says she doesn't know. She doesn't know how she came here. She doesn't even know who brought her here. She's very surprised. Very much surprised. 
Sister, Sister, you don't remember how you came here. But you know this place that you are in now. Surprise us. You don't know this place. <coughs> Look at your tech. Look at your tech. Do you know the place now? You're in Charis. Yes. How did you come here? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I am free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for delivering me. Face the people. You'll be insulted. You'll learn a lot. Don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry, relax, relax. Relax, my sister. Relax. Look here, look here. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. You, 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 you say you don't know how you can do it. Can you talk? Can you talk to her? Look around and tell us what, what, what do you know here, what do you remember? Can I talk in a story? Yeah, speak to Anna. How I came here? How, you, how did you come in? Let me tell you what happened after the deliverance. So the first question she asked was, how did I come here and where is this place? And it was shocking to me because uh, I thought everyone who comes to church will be aware, will be conscious to know I'm, I'm, I know I'm going to church. But after he did it, she said, but how did I come here? Where is this place? So I said to her, check your tech. The man she checked the tech, she said, ah, who is this child? So that's why the man of God said, we must pray for him, so that you can know what is deliverance. This is complete deliverance, whereby someone will never even remember yesterday. You will never even know uh, what happened 30 minutes before now. It means they, maybe there was somebody who was living inside, so who was controlling you, in charge of your finances, your marriage, anything that you can think of. So when that person goes away, now the one who, is, who remains is you. That's when now you are conscious, you are able to reason, you are able to remember. So now do you remember how you came? Now you know. How did you come? Now she's smiling. You can say thanks for Jesus. Eh, but come like in a little almost since 2014, I started following Charles TV. But then, in a general that interest, I want to get the more Charles TV stuff in my deliverance because I told myself that my deliverance in, is in Charles, no matter what. Because it's a minute that gets out here seeking for help. I didn't like a professor or a doctor, but nothing <coughs> happened. So, I was like, what's the time? Make it decide. I was like, ah, let me check my money. How does my daughter like this? I was like, and go for my deliverance for Charis. I started communicating with Pastor Andres about the trip. And he helped me. Until I was interceding for my marriage. And the man of God prophesied to me that I will come back with a testimony. This year is my year of marriage. Don't cry, my sister. And then, uh, what was happening before your deliverance? How, how was your life? Uh, my life was messed up. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I worked for almost 15 years in the company. No promotion, no salary increment, no what. And for 15 years? Yeah, this is my 15th year. Working for one salary? 
they'll be for the same salary, not more than three thousand, less than three thousand. Oh my god. And I've been tormenting with the pain since two zero six from here up to this side. I've been feeling that and pain. To my, to my shock, there's something that she omitted there. You can't even explain it. Mm. It's something that you can touch, you can see, but you don't even know. You don't know it's if it's a worm or it's a frog or what. So this this only the Lord's doing. Yeah. It's it is only Jesus who can do. No woman being can do this. So we just want to glorify God for your life. And we know that it's true that you come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we, we, we also want to celebrate with you, as you can see this month, that Amen. Jesus has done it all. Amen. And please follow him and hold on to Jesus. Because we're having a problem now whereby people of God, they are holding on to people. They don't hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. He is the one who is delivered you. And he is the one who is going to bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yeah. So she still wants to carry on. Carry on. I, was, I want to ask something. Can you please find a place for me to get a child in Francis Town? In Francis Town? Yes. yes. I will speak to my father then. Yes, Pastor. Thank you. God bless you. I want to be a member of Charles from today. But as the right place I'm going to Francis Town, I don't know what. I've been following this part, fellowship is fellowship, fellowship in some way. But ask him about some way in some way. No, I'm happy. I don't even know what to say. And I vomited something because that pain whenever when it starts. So during my deliverance now I vomited something. I can't even tell her what kind of that thing is. I don't even know. Even the pastors, they don't even know what is that thing. Ah, now I've, you know, I feel like because after my deliverance, I didn't know how I came here. I didn't know which place is this. I didn't know. I even asked them, ah, how did I come here? Which means something hella was living more on At least that thing is out now. I will live my life. I thank God for that. I really thank God for that. Uh, ah, that message, it was so powerful, Tota. It was so powerful, Tota. Sometimes for you, you know what that which is holding your life, that enemy. And once you have uprooted that, that ah, your life will move on. Uh, viewers all over the world, Tota, now I can encourage you to come to Charis Batwamudim and seek for the face of God. You know, Apostle McAnan is, is a true man of God, I'm telling you. This man, that is why I'm saying, since I started following his channel, 2014, I, you know, I've been seeing, you see, the and deliverance, I just take once. Has deliverance every, no. Which will he deliver you once, and you can feel what Something has left me. That heaviness has left me. I really love this man of God, you know. I, don't, I have nothing, but, but if I make another thing, I, but I believe God will do something for me. I will bless him. Yeah, as the man of God has prophesied to me, I believe I'm coming back. This year, as he told me that this is the year of my marriage, I believe that God will do something.